driving through Forest Hills neighborhood of Pittsburgh, the Steel City, home of the Pittsburgh Steelers. And this video is going to talk about the history of Forest Hills and a little bit about the context of how it uh, adds value to the Pittsburgh experience. And guys, it's known as Tree City, and you can kind of see why. There's trees and every square inch. The city has a major commitment to a forest lifestyle. In fact, there are three forest animals on the city council. And currently they have a beaver, there is a moose, and a white-tailed deer that help shape the city's future and you might think well that sounds like it would invite problems but guys uh, you'd be surprised because the white-tailed deer the moose and the beaver are actually a lot less trouble than some of the other members of the city council because they don't uh, they don't speak out of turn they don't get into odd uh, political fighting. They don't get into any, any, any weird, uh, you know, uh, revenge or, uh, you know, uh, rivalries, or, okay, or tit for tat, or there's no, it's just, you give them, you lay out the decision that needs to be made, the obstacle or challenge in front of the city council. Question at hand, and believe it or not, the beaver, the moose, and the white-tailed deer have been very productive and have a great record of good decision making for the for the town. So there are actually people in Forest Hills that want to add more forest animals to the city council because <laughs> they're they're really good at it. Now, they don't always understand uh, some of the some of the laws and uh, some of the uh, in in intricacies of government. Okay, because they they run things a little bit different out in the forest. But once you give it to them simply, uh, you know, like in the moose, they they if they have to explain complicated construction calculations that would in, in, include the water table and uh, you know a, a number of years to recapture money lent to a developer anything like that they use his antlers to help him count uh, he's not he's not the best at math right but he's got these uh, huge antlers that they had to they had to widen the doors to the city council chambers just to get the guy in there. But what you can see him looking up at the antlers as he's as the discussions go on as he calculates in his head using his antlers. But little things like that. It, but again, you know, we accommodate people that are different than ourselves. That's the modern way. We, and that guy is respected in the forest. And once he got his footing in the uh, council chambers, he's been very, very good council person. So, anyway, Forest Hills has uh, been a leader in uh, working with forest animals and, and, and creating the habitats that's best for them while still developing condominiums and uh, apartments and homes for humans. Because really, uh, most cities need more housing and that and that includes building a lot of people like stop the builder stop the developers well somebody's got to build the, the homes somebody's got to build them and those are developers and yes they are uh, generally capitalists yes they generally want to make a profit otherwise they can't uh, continue to exist and uh, ironically forced animals sometimes understand this better than some extremists that have work their way you know through the, the various communities around here you, that uh, want to stop all development stop all capitalism and if you explain uh, the basics of capitalism and, and the 
the benefits of housing to the white-tailed deer, the beaver, and the moose on city council, they have no problem with it. Of course, especially the beaver. He's like, man, I understand construction. He said, you gotta build that, you, you know, especially for winter. He said, if you don't build these homes for people, you know, where's people gonna live? And the other city council, the extremists that come, you know, sometimes they get these protesters and they just shrug their shoulders like, I don't know. Well, the beaver's like, you gotta, you gotta build. <laughs> and then and the developer, uh, the developers in the room like shaking their heads like, see? <laughs> <laughs> the beaver understands. Why don't these uh, protesters? You know, so sometimes animals have more have more common sense than crazy people. But uh, you know, that's just the nature of the human condition. The you know, emotions get in the way, and uh, and we're all we're all we all have done crazy things. So anyway, that's a, a snapshot of Forest Hills, guys. We have so many more uh, community spotlights. And other, we're, do, we're getting back into lyrics explained videos. A lot of people were asking me about that. How come I don't do that anymore? And I, I said, well, I just been on the road. I just haven't. But uh, I just posted. I just posted Post Malone song this morning, and we just did Little Tekka. So there's a lot going on, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, come on back. Come on back for another Joan Ditzel parody. All right, see ya.